Vidra College, Grade 3, General Knowledge. Fascinating sky above us. My dear children, today we are going to learn about the solar system. I hope you all are aware of what the solar system is. Let's see more. My darling students, I think all of you have noticed the beautiful sky around us during the day and in the night. Have you all seen the millions of stars above you that shines beautifully at night? I guess you should go observe it tonight. My dear children, have you all noticed that stars twinkle? But also, if you notice very well, at night there are few objects in the sky which does not twinkle. Do you know what they are called? Yes. Those objects are known as planets and these planets belongs to a special family called the solar system. Now let's look into the solar system more. The solar system is the sun and everything that revolves around the sun. The sun is in the middle and the eight planets travels around the sun. My darling children, now I am going to teach you the order and the closeness of the planets in the solar system. We have 8 planets in the solar system and the first planet which is closest to the sun is Mercury. After Mercury it is Venus and after Venus we have the Earth. After Earth it is Mars and after Mars we have Jupiter which is the largest planet in the solar system. After Jupiter we have Saturn and next after Saturn is Uranus and after Uranus lastly in our solar system we have Neptune. Let's learn an easy method to remember the order of the names of the planets. My very educated mother just served us noodles. As you can see children, the words of this sentence starts in order of the eight planets in the solar system. My, M for Mercury, Very, V for Venus, Educated, E for Earth, Mother, M for Mars, Just, J for Jupiter, serve S for Saturn, us, U for Uranus and finally noodles, N for Neptune. Now my dear children, let's learn about each of the planets individually. First let's see about Mercury. Mercury is the planet which is the most closest to the sun and it is the first planet away from the sun. And because it is close to the sun, it is extremely hot. And also you can find hot rocks and land in Mercury. And there are craters in Mercury. Do you know what craters are? Craters are big holes on the ground. And because there is no water on Mercury, no one can live there. The second planet away from the sun is Venus. Venus is also a very hot planet, but it is very bright. It has mountains, valleys and volcanoes in it. If you look at the sky early in the morning before the sun rises and after the sun sets, you can see this planet as a very bright star in the sky. It is very beautiful. Just like in Mercury, Venus also has no water in it. So there aren't any plants or animals living. Children, do you know which is the third planet away from the sun? Of course, why not? It is the planet that we live in. What is the name of this planet? Yes, it is the Earth. The Earth is the third planet away from the sun. And do you know that it's the most prettiest planet in the solar system? If we look at our Earth from above, we can see it like a colorful ball. Earth is the only planet where animals and people can live because on Earth we can find food, water, air, 
and all the essential factors that we need to live in. The fourth planet away from the sun is Mars. And planet Mars is one of the favorite planets among lots of people. And it is known as the twin sister of the earth. This planet is red in color. And on the top and the bottom of this planet you can see two ice caps. And there is also a very special thing in this planet. That is the mountain Olympus. The mountain Olympus is three times bigger than Mount Everest even. Let's look at some pictures of Mount Olympus. My darling children, here you can see two pictures of Mount Olympus. Can you see how large it is? Yes, it is larger than Mount Everest even. Next we have the largest planet which we can find on the solar system. It is Jupiter. It is the fifth planet away from the sun. And darling, there is a big red spot in this planet and it is a very special feature that you can notice on this planet. It is called as the Great Red Spot. It has 64 moons that travels around it and four of the moons which travels around it was discovered by Galileo Galilei which are bigger than the others. Next in line is planet Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet away from the sun and Saturn has beautiful rings around it and it can be easily recognized because of its rings. Can you see the rings around this planet in these pictures? It is as if the planet is dressed up to go to a party. These rings are made up of many pieces of ice and dust. Can you see an ice ball here? No darling, it's not an ice ball. It is the seventh planet which is away from the sun and that is Uranus. It's an extremely cold planet and people call it an ice giant. This planet is blue in color and it also has a few rings like Saturn. And finally here we come to the last planet which is in the solar system. It's Neptune. Neptune looks a lot like Uranus and it is the last member of the sun's family. My dear children, do you have any idea what the surface of Neptune is like? Do you think it's hot like Mercury or do you think it's cold like Saturn? Well, this bluish green color planet is the most coldest planet among all. And that is because it is so, so far away from the sun. Now let's revise what we have learnt in this lesson. What are known as planets? What is called as the solar system? Which is the prettiest planet of the solar system? Which planet is known as the twin sister of planet Earth? What is the coldest planet in the solar system? Now let's check the answers for the questions. The first question is what are known as planets? And the answer is stars like objects which do not twinkle. The next question we had was what is called as the solar system? The answer is it is our sun and everything that travels around it. What was the third question? The third question was which is the prettiest planet of the solar system? The answer for this question is planet Earth. The fourth question was which planet is known as the twin sister of planet Earth? The answer for this question is planet Mars. The final question we had was what is the coldest planet in the solar system? The answer is planet Neptune. I hope all your answers are correct. So then, that brings us to the end of this lesson. 
गुड बाय माई डियर चिल्ड्रन लेट्स मीट अस सोन विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग लेसन आंटिल देन स्टे सेफ और बाय बाय